Timely, um, but just a, a number of good things happening there offensively to keep us in that game. And um, I'd say both teams had opportunities that uh, we weren't able to capitalize on, but when it got down to it, you know, the guys just showed a lot of grit and heart staying with it and getting us back in, giving our offense another chance and uh, bullpen doing enough to keep us close. There was a lot of that throughout the game, right? Kind of searching for the timely hit. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, you know, had some guys at the bottom of the order come through. We got down even two outs, and guys just kind of fighting their way through to make something happen and doing little things right, um, either getting bunts down or – but, you know, it's the big hit. In games like that, we need that big one, and had a couple guys come through and gave Carp a chance to, to be the hero. How many times did Jose remind you that he could pitch at the None. No. He knew I knew. <laughs> we talked about it ahead of time, and uh, – just trying to figure out when the best time to deploy him would be, and he came out exactly when we needed him to and did a great job. Tommy staying ready off the bench to come in and get on base. I mean, uh, I thought our bench did it to Greg Garcia, getting a couple knocks after not starting this game. I mean, um, just um, impressive effort by quite a few guys. You mentioned earlier that you were looking for a spot to get Greg into the game. He has a couple of hits. He has a sacrifice. He has a way down. He gets the RBI. What did you say from, from his game tonight and the way he contributed to the win? No. It's hard. You know, it's hard to be that, that role player guy that's not getting consistent starts and consistent at bats to be able to come in in, in uh, big situations and get the job done, even getting the sacrifice bunt down. Um, but And then making plays. I mean, it's just uh, it, it's a tall order. Uh, Greg is a... We, we say it all the time. He just goes about his business the right way. He prepares, and uh, he stays ready. And you can tell that uh, he was ready when he got his opportunity today. He's a game changer. How do you see him from, from Matt early? He's been reaching base a lot, but he seems a little frustrated not being able to really really get a lot of hits. Yeah, he just hadn't been hot yet, right? He hadn't gotten that terror that we know that he can go on. And when he does, it's fun to watch, and it seems like we all jump on board. But... Um, did a nice job today of taking advantage of it when we had the big opportunity. We lost. That was the work that Jordan did. I mean, the, the, yeah. Everything is new for him. Yeah. But coming in with runners on base and how he was able to get no, out of this. That was big for Jordan to uh, come in in that situation and continue to give us a chance to uh, you know, figure out their starter first and figure out a way to put something across the board. But um, he continues to impress us. He's making good pitches. Uh, he's challenging in the zone. Uh, we can trust him uh, so far in any situation to come in, either get a ground ball. We also know he has the strikeout stuff. So uh, just another um, another opportunity that he's made the most of. How, is he learning the difference between, hey, this is a moment when I need to get a strikeout and I can try to overpower somebody and this is a time to be economical? No, I think he's following Yachty pretty close with that and trying to keep it as simple as possible, make good pitches, follow the catcher. And um, he hasn't had to really uh, overthink it. You know, he's got such good stuff that it's probably his best approach is to just trust what Yachty's doing. And, you know, I think he can see when he gets into those situations, whether he's calling for an elevated fastball, it's going to strike somebody out. If he's calling for the breaking ball below the zone, it's going to strike somebody out. And Jordan's just following along well. Was there, uh, sorry, oh, was there a point in tonight's game where you would have used Holland or was he? Holland was down today. Okay. Yeah. The other day, talked a lot about the success on 0-2 counts when there were the five hits in a row or whatever. And there's been a lot of strikeouts since then, but even today there were strikeouts, but there were big hits. Has the approach been consistent from the guys, or what, what do you think's attributed to some of the, the ups and downs with the success and the strikeouts? About? I mean, strikeouts are high in the game, right? That's telling you a couple things. One is um, a change in the game, but two, the, you've seen some really good stuff from pitchers, and pitchers have strikeout pitch, pitches and strikeout stuff. And um, But I am seeing us take a, a more conscious effort of putting better at bats together with two strikes and you know we're being rewarded and guys are putting in some good good hits with two strikes in big situations and so something we'll continue to work on um but i think we're definitely going in the right direction